Where hast thou been, sister? Killing swine. Sister, where thou? A sailor's wife had chestnuts in her lap. And munched, munched, and munched. Give me, quoth I. Oh, oh roink thee, witch, the rump fed runyon cries. Her husband to Aleppo gone, master of the tiger. But in a sieve, I'll thither sail, and like a rat without a tail, I'll do, I'll do, I'll do. Oh, give thee a wind, thou art kind. And I another. I myself have all the other. <gasps> Look what I have. Show me, show me. Here I have a pilot's thumb, wrecked as homeward he did come. A drum, a drum. Macbeth doth come. So foul and fair a day I have not seen. How far is called to fours? What are these that look not like the inhabitants of the earth and yet are on it? Speak. If you can, what are you? All hail Macbeth. Hail to thee, Thane of Glam. All hail Macbeth. Hail to thee, Thane of God. All hail Macbeth. Thou shalt be king hereafter. Good sir. Why do you start and seem to fear the things that do sound so fair? In the name of truth, are ye fantastical? or that indeed which outwardly ye show. My noble partner, you greet with present grace and great prediction of noble having and of royal hope that he seems wrapped with all. To me you speak not. If you can look into the seeds of time and say which grain will grow and which will not, speak then to me, who neither beg nor fear your favor nor your hate. Hail, hail, hail. Lesser than Macbeth, and greater, not so happy, yet much happier. Thou shalt get king, though thou be none. So all hail Macbeth and Banquo. Banquo and Macbeth, all hail. Stay. You imperfect speakers, tell me more. Whither are they vanished? Into the air. What seemed corporal melted his breath into the wind. Where they had stayed. Were such things here as we do speak about? Or have we eaten on the insane route that takes the reason prisoner? Your children shall be kings. You shall be king. The Thane of Cawdor too, went it not so? To the selfsame tune and words. Who's here? The king hath happily received, Macbeth, the news of thy success. I am sent to give thee from our royal master thanks, only to herald thee into his sight, not pay thee, and for an earnest of a greater honor. He bade me, from him, call thee Thane of Cawdor. So hail, most worthy Thane, for it is thine. The Thane of Cawdor lives. Why do you dress me in borrowed robes? Who was the Thane lives yet? Another heavy judgment bears that life, which he deserves to lose. Glom's and Thane of Cawdor. The greatest is behind. Thanks for your pains. Do you not hope your children shall be kings? When they that gave the Thane of Cawdor to me promised no less to them? A trusted home might yet enkindle you unto the crown besides the Thane of Cawdor. But tis strange. And oftentimes the instruments of darkness tell us truths, win us with honest trifles to betray us in deepest consequence. Two truths are told as happy prologue to the swelling act of the imperial theme. The supernatural soliciting cannot be ill. Cannot be good. If ill, why hath it given me earnest of success, commencing in a truth? I am Thane of Cardo. If good, why do I yield to that suggestion whose horrid image doth unfix my hair and makes my seated heart knock at my ribs against the use of nature? Present fears are less than horrible imaginings. My thought, whose murder yet is but fantastical, shakes so my single state of man that function is smothered in surmise, and nothing is but what is not. If chance will have me king, why chance may crown me without my stir. Come what come may, time and the hour runs through the roughest day. <laughs>